I mean, it was lucky for me in terms of it was the first real sort of proper acting job I'd had in terms of you know being paid over a period of time to do acting, and then it was kind of in a way weirdly it was sort of my. I, I say a lot of times to people it was sort of my sort of drama school in a way because I didn't go to drama school, but here I was, you know, for six weeks, among some of the great, the best British comedy actors, and just feeding off them and seeing how they did it. You know, people like Martin and Mackenzie, uh, especially uh, watching them and seeing how they kind of approached it was was massively helpful for me, and I think it did stood me in good stead. You know, since then, really. How did you approach it? And did you, and what, you know, what did you notice about what they were doing? What kind of things did you maybe take on board? It's just the way you press, the way you kind of uh, kind of prepare, the way you sort of, um, you know, you don't, you get into the mindset, you kind of get yourself ready to do a scene. It's kind of, but also the. I was lucky then, it's kind of the way everyone treated each other, like there was people respected each other. There was no kind of looking down your nose at people who were thought to be, you know, down the ladder. Uh, and that, that trickles down, you know, when the people at the top are behaving like that, it's kind of, it's good to see and it kind of it shows you what a happy set can be like. And then going on ones that aren't so happy where there's kind of egos coming to play just makes it worse for everyone, really. So it was definitely good to work on a, on a set that that really, that work where everyone kind of got on. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, and if you want to see the full length version of these conversations, hop across to our website at actors-anonymous.com.